Chapter 9, Relation Between Points, Lines and Plays is a thinking and communication problem. The point A, 2, 4, minus 5 is reflected in the line with the equation R equals to 0, 0, 1, S, 4, 2, 1, where S belongs to real numbers, to a point A dash. Determine the coordinates of A dash. So think like this. That is the line given to us, right? And we have a point here, which is point A, and it is reflected, so we get a point here. That's the reflection, right? So if you join these two things, then, then what do we get? So let's try to understand the situation. That's the point A, and that's the reflection A dash, and that's the line R, right? L1, we can say L1 is R equals to whatever. That's the line. Now, seeing into this properties, the point on the line should be the midpoint. Is it okay? And this should be a straight line. That is how it gets reflected. So we'll kind of use this property and then figure out the answer. What should be A dash? Got it? So that's how we are going to figure out this solution. So two things are very critical for us. One is that these two lines are perpendicular. Second, the point midpoint is on the line, right? And that will help us to find A dash for us, correct? So that is, try, let's try to see if we can do that, right? So midpoint is on the line. So what should be the midpoint? We'll start from here. So in general, a point on the line can be written as x equals 2. This is 0 plus 4s. So I'll write 4s y equals to 0 plus 2s, so it is 2s, and z equals to 1 plus s, so it is 1 plus s. So this is, in general, a point on the midline, midpoint, right? Now, we know this, if I join point A and the midpoint, then it should be perpendicular to the line. Is that okay? So what is the direction for AM? So that is my point, and this is another point. This is the midpoint, right, on the line. In general, we don't know what the point is, right? But we can get the value of S from here. So what we are trying to say is, what is the equation which can help us find this? It is that direction AM, A to M, dot, the direction vector of the line, which is 4 to 1, right? should be equal to zero because they are perpendicular. Is that okay? So this is the concept which we are going to explore now. And what is A to M? So we don't know what M is. It could be any point. So we'll use this general point. So we say, well, this is my general point and A is point two, four, minus five, right? So I'll write this as two minus this. So we get two minus four S. That is my x value of the point, right? And the y value is 4 minus 2s, 4 minus 2s, correct? And the z value is minus 5 minus 1 plus s, right? 1 plus s. I know my s and 5 are confusing. So that is this am. Do you see that? Dot 4 to 1, 4, 2, and 1, right? This is what should be zero, right? So we have one variable s and an equation here. We should be in a position to solve it, right? Now let's do the dot product and see what we get, correct? So we get, and uh, so we'll multiply this by four. Is that okay? This by four, and what do you get? Four times two is eight minus 16s. Is that okay? And then you'll multiply two with this term, which is the y, right? Which is two times four is eight. And uh, let me put this in bracket also, okay? It will, it will be helpful to figure out. So we have these values. This is my x value, this is my y value, and this is my z value, right? Which I'm going to multiply with these, correct? So, so what I did, uh, four times, uh, okay, I did four times this, and now two times four is eight, yeah, and two times minus two s will give us minus four s, correct? And here, actually, I could have opened the bracket, and in that case, I will get minus 1 and minus 1 as minus 6. 
So minus 6 times 1 will give me minus 6. Let me do that. And minus s times 1 will give me minus s. Minus s. And all this should be equal to 0. Is it okay? Yeah. Do it carefully, right? So this is what we are going to get. Now we have one equation with one variable. So good for us. And we can now combine like terms and see what we get. So 8 plus 8 is 16 minus 6 is 10. So we get 10 here for numbers and with the s values we have minus 16 and minus 4 as minus 20 and minus 1 gives me minus 21. So we get minus 21 s equals to 0. Correct? Now from here we can find what s is. We say s is equal to 10 divided by 21. So we get the value of s. 10 divided by 21. That gives us the point, right? So 10 divided by 21 is the value of s. So we say, well, s is equal to 10 divided by 21. So we'll use this and find our points. But this point, remember, these are our midpoints, right? So we say midpoint m will be 10 divided by 21 times 4, right? So which is 40 over 21. And times 2, so 20 over 21. And plus 1. So plus 1 means 21 plus 10, right? So 21 plus 10 is 31. So that's our midpoint. Now we know the point A, we know midpoint. How will you find A dash? That's also a big problem, right? Grade 10 problem. You remember midpoints? Finding point A. That used to be a thinking problem at that time. It's still a thinking problem. Okay, let's try to figure out. The idea here is midpoint is we have to add these divided by 2 to get the midpoint. So we don't know what this point is. So we'll just assume this to be x, y, z. So we'll write this as x, y, and z, right? So if I add this point, which is 2, 2 plus x divided by 2 should be equal to the midpoint, 40, 21, right? So that is what we are going to use. And so we get x plus 2 divided by 2 is equal to 40 over 21. And this will help us to solve for x, correct? So from here, let's multiply and then take away 2, right? So x is equal to, if I multiply, I get 80 over 21 minus 2. Is it okay? minus 2 which gives me then I have to take common denominator minus 2 times 2 that is 80 minus 42 divided by 2 and 80 minus 42 divided by 2 will be 38 divided by 2 so we get this equals to 38 divided by 2 right oh, sorry 21 20 Okay, now that is our x value. For y value, y and the y value of a is 4. So we will add y plus 4 divided by 2. So for y, let me write it here. Okay. So we have y plus 4 divided by 2 is equal to 20 over 21. Big numbers to play with, right? So then we can solve for y. So y is equals to, so we get y plus 4 equals to 40 over 21, correct? And y is equal to 40 over 21 minus 4. 40 over 21 minus 4, correct? So that is the value of y, which will give us Okay, so let me just push the paper slightly up and so. So this is equal to 40 minus 84 over 21, which is minus 44 over 21. So that's the y value, okay? Minus 44 over 21. And now let's find the z value. So z and the value is minus 5. So let them... This is z minus 5 divided by 2 is equal to 31 over 21. Correct. So z is equal to, we'll follow the same strategy, right? 2 times this is 62 over 21 minus becomes plus, plus 5. Is it okay? So this could be 62 
plus when you multiply by 5 you get 5 105 divided by 21 right and when you add them up okay let's add them here 7 and 6 and 1 over 21 so you get 167 over 21 right so these are the x y and z values which we got right so now we can write our answer right here so the point a dash should be equal to 38 over 21 minus 44 over 21 and 167 over 21 so that's the point a dash it's like a very difficult thinking problem but you know I hope you understand the concept here the point a 2 4 minus 5 is reflected in the line so this is my line right l1 and point a is reflected to give us a dash equation of the line is given to us determine a dash so how did we find it it was well let the point on a dash be xyz if we join them then it should be perpendicular to the line correct and it will cross at the midpoint of segment a a dash right so that is how we worked it out and that midpoint lies on the line so we use two policies here first the midpoint lies on the line so we took the parametric form and took a point general point second that the dot product of the segment and the line should be zero and that helped us to find out our point okay Thank you.